So on this video, we're gonna be showing you how to program this system, this Rayco control system, professional lighting, um, with all of our circuits. So RMC 500, circuit one, RMS 800, circuit two, RMT pill, our circuit three, RLED 150, one of our strips, circuit four, and RLED 75, again, the other strip, which is circuit uh, five. Um, so let's get into programming. I'm gonna show you on the laptop um, how quick and simple it can be to install a professional lighting system. Okay, now we're gonna um, open our software. So the software is gonna load. So the first thing it's gonna ask us to do is to start a new project. So we click start a new project. Um, it's gonna come up with a project name. So in this case, I'm gonna call it uh, demo unit. And then it's gonna ask us for a house number. Uh, it's gonna auto populate a house number. Uh, this is just a unique number for your system or your house. In this case, let's leave it as four. It's gonna ask us where we wanna save our work which is fine, and we're gonna click through to next. Then it's gonna ask us to add a room name. So in this case, let's try and think of somewhere, let's call it the kitchen. Room type um, is lighting. Uh, we don't have any blinds or curtain control in that room. So we're gonna add the kitchen onto the system. And then we're gonna click through to next. Next is gonna ask for our channels. So our channels are our uh, circuits. Um, so for instance channel 1 we're going to say is our RMT 500 which is our 5 spots and let's label that 5 spots. Now obviously when this is deployed in a kitchen environment this could be um, cabinets, lights or it could be uh, over the dining room uh, table so you know you can name it accordingly to where them lights are. So we're going to keep it simple though. So for circuit two, we're going to name these three spots, which is our RMS 800. And then we just go down the list. Circuit three, we're going to call our RMT pill, which we're going to say is our pendant light. Um, so we're going to name it pendant. Uh, circuit four, uh, which we'll say is our RED 75, which is our strip light. And then circuit five, which is our RLED 150, which is our other strip light. Um, we'll name that strip light two. Let me just tidy that up there. Strip light one. Okay, so we kept it really simple, but again, you would name these cabinet spots, dining table spots, table lamp, um, you could have alcove um, or under cabinet. Okay, we're gonna click through to next. Then it's gonna ask us if we've got any devices on the system, um, such like a bridge for smock, uh, phone control. Uh, in this case, we haven't. Um, so we're just gonna click through to next. And then it says we're ready to start, which is great. We're gonna click finish. And the next thing to do is we're going to click up here to our room editor. Select our room, which in this case is our kitchen. As you can see, it's populated all our channels or circuits of lights here. And now we just need to assign a device to them. Uh, there's a couple of ways of doing this. I'm going to do it down here. So I'm going to click through to discover or discovery. And it says our five spots, which we're going to say is our RMT500. And we're going to add a device. So we click on add a device, go to wireless, and then we're going to find on this list RMT500, which is there. Because that's the device we're going to use. And we're going to click finish.
Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to our room editor page. As you can see here, it's uh, populated all the channel names uh, or circuits of lights. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to discover them and tell the system here what they actually are. So on our five spots, we've, we can see we've got add a device button here under discovery down at the bottom. So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is we've got our RAM P connected to our laptop and our software. So I'm going to click, double click here to activate it. Then I'm going to click on add a device. And then I'm going to find, oh, look at that. So it's already selected RMT500. All I would have done is chose the device name from the list here. So I'm going to click through to finish. And then that's now identified that device type here. And then all I'm going to do is go down the list again. So for our three spot circuit, I'm going to add a device. And in this case, that's our RMS800. I'll click through to finish. I'm going to add another device, which is our RMT pill, which is here. Click through to finish. I'm going to add our strip light one, which we will call our RLED 150. Click through to finish and add another device. Which is our LED 75. Click through to finish. Okay, so that was a really quick and simple way of just naming the devices. And now what we're going to do is identify them. Uh, and again, what we do here, so for our five spots, we hold down our button. This puts the uh, module into programming mode. So as you can see, we've got a light flash, and now we've got the blue LED light flashing. And then on our software again, we're just going to click circuit one to ident that to circuit one. And again, we're just going to go down our list. So we're going to hold, button press this on the RMS800. As you can see, it's now gone into programming mode. And then we're going to click on the relevant circuit back on our software. I'm going to carry on down the list here, so on the RM pill, there's a little button on the side which we're going to hold down. There we go, we're into programming mode, and again, we're going to ident. As I say, there is a few ways of doing this on the software, but we're going to probably cover that on a later video, a little bit more in depth on the programming itself. But here's just a quick overview our strip light. Uh, one, which is our RLED 150. Again, we just hold down this button. There we go. And then I dent back on the software. And we're getting confirmation all the time from the devices that this has been done. So again, on strip light two, we I dent. So what we did there was that we added all the devices by name and then we identified the devices. So now, what we can do is go back to our standard view of room editor and start to create our scenes. So we go over here, we we'll click scene one, and then again, this will be covered in a later video a little more in depth, but we're gonna quickly create a scene. So we're gonna say that our five spots, we like them at 20%, and they're gonna fade down to 20. We're gonna keep our three spots on 100, our pendant, we're going to drop down to zero, we're going to have that off, so our pendant at the back has gone off, and then our strip lights, we're going to remain them at 100. So let's store that scene on scene one, that's stored, then we're going to go to scene two. So we've selected scene two, and this time we're going to have our five spots at 100, our three spots are going to be off, our pendant it's going to be at 50% and maybe both of our strips are down at 25. 
So again, this is all on a test rig, but obviously when this is in your house or room, it's gonna make a lot more visual sense. And then we can save that scene. 